What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You're tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pub. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about some Fungal Pops that you should buy now rather than later because I have a feeling that they're gonna be co going up in price here in the near future. So we've done this for the past couple of months and usually what we base this on is um, whether there's new movies coming out, whether there's like some news or events happening in the world relating to this topic. And that's kind of what I base it off of or if they're releasing new pops in the line. So we're gonna go over a couple that you guys suggested over on Instagram and a couple that I thought of as well. And uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. So guys, without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so we're starting this off with something that I don't know a ton about, but I did do my research a little bit. So we are talking about Five Nights at Freddy's Pops. Now there is a ton of them out there. I think they started in around like 2016, 2017 is when they first started coming out with them. But those are the ones that I feel like are gonna be going up in price quite a bit. So there is a Five Nights at Freddy's movie that is in the works right now. There is also a movie that I feel like is coming out soon. I can't remember the date, but there's one that's kind of similar to like Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever that's uh, Nicolas Cage stars in it and it's like a place kind of like a place like Five Nights at Freddy's a pizza place or whatever and all the animatronics come alive try to kill them or whatever so it's a movie related to that as well and so I have noticed some of those pops actually going up in price right now is as well and so the trend's gonna keep on going up and up I mean you can't really find those old Five Nights at Freddy's pops really anywhere anymore because you know they're like four or five years old or whatever so whenever you do come across them, I would pick them up because with those current events, you know, with those two movies that are coming out and everything, and then also they're always coming out with games and everything like that. It's just a very popular line that a lot of people like. And eventually I think these pops are going to be very, very sought after. So definitely be on the lookout for them if you see them. All right. This next one, this kind of relates to Funko Fair a little bit, but I have a feeling that some of the older GI Joe pops are going to be going up. And now the reason that I think this is because they're coming out with all sorts of stuff for retro toys from all of the old uh, G.I. Joe characters and stuff like that. They announced some more that are coming out from Funko Fair. And so some of those old G.I. Joe pops of like some of the villains and stuff, like I think it's Cobra Commander and there's a couple of other ones. They're not really expensive right now. I think the most expensive out of those ones is one that's like a bait exclusive. And that one, obviously, since it was limited, it's gonna be worth a couple of hundred dollars. But the ones that aren't worth a ton yet I would actually get those ones before this new line comes out. So like I said, Cobra Commander, those ones are going, I think they're under 20 if I'm not mistaken. And if you do see them at any stores, definitely pick those ones up. All of those original GI Joe pops, they didn't make a ton of them before the retro toys that have been releasing within last year and this year. So those old ones, be on the lookout for them just because the new ones are coming out and people are gonna be thinking about it more. Those I feel like will definitely go up in price. All right guys, and I can't remember if I've talked about this one one, this next one yet, but one that I do want to mention is Space Jam. And so those old pops, I mean, they already are starting to go up in price, but I have a feeling that it's going to be that case even more here in the near future. The new Space Jam movie is coming out this summer with LeBron James. There have been some photos that have been out there of leaked Space Jam pops, whether those are real or not for the new movie. So they, I would say 100% we're getting Space Jam pops, whether or not those ones were real. I, I have no idea. But yeah, definitely the old ones are going to be going up in price for sure. And so be on the lookout for them. I think um, one of the mo more expensive ones are like the Marvin the Martian. I think it's M3, like the blue monster from the Monstars. Bugs Bunny is pretty cheap. Taz is pretty cheap. The Chase a little bit expensive. But um, I would definitely, if you do see those anywhere, definitely 100% pick them up because it would be a good investment with that new movie coming out. Good for trades, good for selling, whatever you want to do, or good for your collection. Be on the lookout for those original Space Jam pops since the new movie is coming out this summer. Okay guys, and this pertains to something that I've seen going online as well. And if this is true, then that means that these pops are gonna be going up in price. And I'm talking about Parks and Rec. And so there's rumors going around that there's gonna be some new ones coming out, some variants of like Andy, Leslie, um, I wanna say April and also Ron. And so if this is the case, those Parks and Rec pops are gonna be going up in price 
even more. Uh, those came out, I wanna say back in like 2016 and you can rarely find them in stores anymore. If you can, you're super lucky. Um, one of the one more noticeable ones that are more up in price are like Leslie and April. Um, Ron's a little bit lower, but that's a good one to definitely get right now. I think you can actually find it at Target right now. I saw it at Target the other day. Um, and then obviously the ones that are like super limited, like Andy is Johnny Karate and the one with the mouse rat t-shirt. Those are really expensive and they could go up even more. But yeah, some of those lower end ones and ones that aren't worth like a hundred bucks yet, definitely pick those up sooner rather than later because if those new pops are coming out, those are gonna go up even more. All right, I thought this one was pretty cool. Um, somebody suggested this and they said, all the old Marvel pops that are getting Disney Plus shows. And so I did a little bit of research. So a couple of shows that are coming up would be like Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, Hawkeye, and She-Hulk. And all of those have pops, but they don't really have a ton. So like Miss Marvel has a pop that is a Walgreens exclusive. I think it's Kamala Khan. I, I can't remember if they call it Miss Marvel or Kamala Khan, I, I can't remember. But that's the only one that I can think of that's around. I think there's one for the Avengers game that's out as well. So definitely I would 100% pick that Walgreens one up because it's comic book related and people like kind of the original stuff. As far as Moon Knight goes, I think there is a Walgreens exclusive of that one as well. So I would suggest picking that one up and the um, LA Comic Con version as well with that new series. I'm not sure if it's this year, it's probably next year from what I've seen. Um, Hawkeye, like I said, I mean, any of the Hawkeye pops, I'm trying to think if there's any out there specifically, maybe some of the older ones with like Age of Ultron would be wise to pick up ones that aren't super common. So that could be going up in price. And She-Hulk as well. I think there is an original She-Hulk that came out a while ago. And there is one that's like an Emerald City Comic-Con exclusive. She has like kind of a more formal outfit on. I would suggest probably picking that one up because of that new series that is coming up. So if there's any pops that are related to any of the new uh, Marvel movies and Disney Plus series that are coming out, be on the lookout for those ones because those pops could be going up in price and could be getting new pops. So be on the lookout for those. All right, this one's gonna be pretty quick. So Tom and Jerry um, is definitely a good one to add to this list. The new movie is actually coming out, I think, later this month here in February. And there's not a ton of pops out there, but one that I think you guys should be on the lookout for is the Funko Shop exclusive. And I think it's flocked. It's like a two pack. That one I feel like has some potential value because it's actually limited. The other ones, maybe the Target exclusive ones could have some value as well with this new movie coming out and they could come out with new variants and stuff, whether that be here soon or for con season, I don't know. But with kind of Tom and Jerry coming back to the forefront with that movie, that is definitely a good set of pops to pay attention to. And then this one is a no brainer. Uh, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, they just won the Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there are some older pops of Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski that have gone up in price with them with the Patriots, obviously. There is like a three pack. I think it's them and uh, Edelman, I believe. It was like a Toys R Us one. I could see that one going up in price even more. Um, but like this price though, is definitely something that's gonna be maybe this month and maybe go down a little bit. But um, who knows, I don't know. Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady, both you know all-time great players. Tom Brady's probably, well, if not the best quarterback of all time in NFL history, winning his seventh um, Super Bowl. And so those pops, like I said, are gonna be going up in value. But majority of them that are gonna be going up would probably be the older ones of both of those guys. And guys, just like that, we are done. So that is my list of this month in February pops that you should buy now before they get expensive. Let me know in the comment section below if there's something that I didn't talk about um, that you feel like is gonna be going up in price here pretty soon. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll catch you guys later.